Chevy Cruise lovers. 1.4 liter turbo. Project today. Fishing wires through firewalls. I have routed this two gauge oxygen free copper wire. I have fished it through the firewall. I have laid a track for the wire to follow to the back. Coming through here. I don't know if we can see inside there, but anyways, it comes out right there. I am wired from the front to the back. All right, Chev Cruise lovers, welcome to a project that I've been working on. It's been ongoing here. Uh, the overflow tank for the radiator was moved out of the way so that I could get access to the boot. All right, looking from underneath the dash here, or I pulled the, pulled the wire through the boot. I made a little slit in the side of the boot there, and I fished the fishing tape through, and then I pulled the, the string line through. For the wiring harness, and I just fished, I just finished fishing uh, some, some uh, string through. And that was a process, that was a process involved using some tools, some hooky tools, some picks, uh, string lines, some fishing tape, an orphan knife, I had to take off the tape, the, the wrapping off the wiring harness. So I gotta tie the rope to my wire here, basically. I'm gonna tie that up and fish it through the firewall, through the boot. Okay, when I tie up this here, just hold the rope, the string line, along the cable here, and I wrap it around. One, two, three or four times. That was three times. I slack that off underneath. Pull it through. And I'll just do a little half hitch there. Like that. That's a solid connection. Take my tape. Tape that all up like that. Make it so it's a nice smooth point. The part that feeds through the firewall, through the boot, like so. And basically you have a, a wire that is ready to fish through your firewall. Be nice to have the help of an assistant. However, I'll have to do this slowly. Oh yeah, I gotta help. I gotta help feed that through. And maybe some soap and water. I'll get some soap and water on that so it lubricates it a little bit. That slides through um, a little more easily. Okay. Okay, soap and water. Some sunlight soap with some water. I'm just gonna spray wire here. 
And if I can, I'd like to spray the boot. I get the fucking water up in there. Okay, let's try this again. the first part of the boot. Let's see, there it is. There it is. Came through. That soap and water sure helped. Okay. All right. So there's a space in here. There's space there. Um, anyways, think, think. Thinking, processing, Gotta figure it out. I've come up with a route for the for the cable. So basically where the string line goes down here, it's going underneath. It's going underneath. Next step, not entirely finished there. I want to still tape that up and wrap it up and zip tie it. I'm just going to check the fitment of the overflow tank here. You have to place it at an angle. You got to slide it on that clip at the bottom first, like that, and then you can push it forwards. And it drops down and then you take your little circlip or whatever you want to call this and that goes back on there like that click okay but I'm not quite done yet so all right fitment wise clearance wise again you can see there's there's no restrictions there's no pressure or stress points And that's important we do want we do not want to short this system out that is fire hazard so take precautions when working with electricity this is going to be the positive lead it is critical that the insulation is not damaged and that there's no tension or pressure points so that if the car is moving or vibrating that insulation could wear off and come into contact with the body uh, at whatever point. So just keep that in mind. Very important. Or if I connect directly to the lug, the stud here on the battery terminal and the battery. Okay, now I just gotta clean things up here. Take the slack out of the cable there. Just like that again, there's no pressure, no tension. Everything's nicely protected. I'm just gonna follow the path here where all the other wires are going. Okay, just taking the slack out, right? Taking the slack out. So open the back door. Again, another piece of trim. And push it a little bit. And pull it. A little pushing, a little pulling. A little pushing. It'd be nice to have two. Hands, three hands. And pull. Little push. Little. You know the routine. Back and forth. Back and forth. Stuff. Oxygen free copper 14 AWG 100 foot roll. Thought I got a good price for it.
Anyways, um, I laid out approximately what length I need to uh, reach the back of the car to the front of the car. So I just cut everything. I just cut all my wires. I got two wires for subs. I got four wires for door speakers. Everything's laid out. Okay, the wires have been fed through. Everything's sitting pretty. It's all tucked in. All tucked in, ready for Betty Buys. Night, night. They're covered, get tucked in. And then, uh, yeah. So, I'm ready to do the next step. All right, this part's pretty, pretty easy. I, uh, I take my string line probably about a foot of length here and I, I just start wrapping it around once, twice, let's go three times. Okay, say three times like that. And you see these three loops? See those three loops right there? You're gonna feed the rope underneath like that, pull it back, and now pull the tension, pull the tension on this rope. And you have a connection here. The harder you pull it, the, uh, the stronger it holds. I don't like this one. You've been still running this whole time? What the fuck? Wrap, wrap that around a few times. Nice sticky tape. <laughs> I'm on the wrong side of the tape. It's not sticky on the outside of the tape. Now, how much cable do I want up here? Well, I need enough cable. So I gotta go underneath. I'm gonna go underneath here. Underneath here. And I'm gonna come up. Come up here somewhere. Come up here. I'm going to try to hit this 12 volt uh, rail in here. Uh, not sure if I will be able to or if I have to come into this box. Undecided, but anyways, enough cable is needed for you to be able to route the wire to your desired location so that you can get the connectivity that you're looking for and uh, doesn't interfere with other um, wires and the, the uh, overflow tank for the radiator uh, mounts right here too so keep that in mind when you're doing your plumbing um, uh, the shape of this this uh, box here there's a, a void right underneath here i may be able to feed that void is right here 